Hey guys, uh, it's FHRC Brony here today. I'm here to make a little kind of a tutorial, a tutorial on how uh, to change your gearing on a slash two wheel drive. For those of you who own the the Rustler, the Stampede, and the Bandit, those will work as well. So let's get started. Um, uh, the first thing you need is to get the included a uh, four-way wrench uh, or maybe you can get a bigger one which I have here and you're just gonna uh, unscrew unscrew the nut that's on this wheel uh, you don't have to do the other wheel just this one because you're gonna get access through uh, on on the right down um, the next tool that you're going to need is a Allen wrench I believe this one is a I need to I haven't looked at the instructions yet let me go grab them because I forgot what the size on that L wrench key was Okay, let's go find it. It says the second, so yeah, this, the medium one is, yeah, 2, 2.0 millimeter L wrench. So you're gonna use that. Just gonna unscrew, unscrew the two screws or hex bolts that's attached to this transmission cover. There's two in here, uh, two on here. There's one and there's, there's one up here and there's one hidden underneath underneath there so let me show you that other other one right there it's right you see it right right there little bowl right there it's right there there you see it okay this thing's not fully adjustable okay I thought it was. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Let me go get the other wheel out. Uh, not wheel. <laughs> what did I say? Wheel. Get the other bolt out. And then there is your transmission. So as you can see here. We got a 92 spur gear. This is your spur gear, this big black one. And then we got a 16 tooth pinion gear, which is this is the one that's connected to the motor. What I'm going to do is I am going to use my 2.0 inch, uh, a two not inch, a 2.0 millimeter uh, Allen wrench, and I'm just going to uns partially unscrew that. Difficult doing this with the camera blocking. I'm gonna go use the short side end. Okay, that's much easier. Okay, much better. Like I said, partially unscrew it, don't unscrew it all the way. And now what's the other one? The next one you're gonna get is the smallest one, but that's 1.5 millimeters. Uh but just this one, yeah, it's a small one. Gonna unscrew, remove that pinion gear out. Um, usually these pinion gears are usually a pain to get out, but they should eventually get, be removed. I don't know why Trax does this in the when you try to take off a pinion gear. It tends to be really difficult to remove. Which I don't understand. Like I really want to put the speed gearing option there. See, it's totally stuck in there. So I need to get something to uh, jab it out there. That's gonna be a difficult one. But my rustler has that. If I can probably use that on my rustler. Okay. 
this is literally one of the reasons why I personally hate Trax's vehicles, especially the two, uh, just the two-wheel drive vehicles specifically. Just like on my Rustler, the pinion gear is always the stock pinion gear, which is this, is always like almost like glued. I had to use like a crowbar, something like this, to, to remove it, which was well, not that hard, but it's supposed it has the set screw to take this out uh, so you can use this to remove it but unfortunately no it doesn't that's the only thing I hate about Traxxas is the fact that you cannot you gotta use a different tool just to take it out okay anyways um, we're gonna put the new new gearing on what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut first which I'm gonna do it off camera Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna go back to the, to the, uh, back to the transmission real quick. Um, with using the 2.5 millimeter L wrench, which is this one, and it's the longest one, we're gonna remove the, the 92 spur gear. Gonna do all three screws, and then I'm gonna use the so-called crowbar to remove it. There's two. This is gonna be difficult. To miss. There we go. Three. All right, those are out. I'm gonna go get the crowbar. Now she goes. That right there. That's the slipper clutch. Okay. Now we're gonna. Grab this. Um, this little piece of paper over here um, is a reference card. I'll show you that real quick. Tells you about the um, the the recommended gearing setting that you can put on this car. So you don't need to worry about that. Like I said, the transmission shares the same thing as the Rustler, so. Bandit, Rustler, Stampede, and Slash. So, they have the same transmission. Well, unless we were talking about Slash 4x4 and Stampede 4x4. Those are different. But, Slash, uh, two-wheel drive, and Stampede two-wheel drive, they're all the same. Okay. Now, what I usually do, I'm just going to start off with the pinion gear first. Is uh, attach the pinion gear uh, with the hole facing upwards where you can see the the uh, the flat where the flat side the hole should be facing where the flat side of the of the armatures uh, of the armature is showing which is basically this little flat side right here you'll see you'll see a flat side on your armature um, I think it's called an armature I'm just gonna, I'm saying armature for now but if if correct me if I'm wrong if it's not armature but the hole that's that's uh where the set screws is inserted should be facing where the flat surface of the armature is. So with the uh, 0.5 millimeter, no 1.5 millimeter L wrench, and grab your uh, grab it <laughs> with your uh, set screw in there. I'm just gonna shove it in there, shove it up in that hole of that pinion gear. And this is a 23 tooth pinion gear. Let's see if that's attached. No, not yet. Looks like it's connected, but I'm not positive. Okay. 
Yeah, it should be tight enough. Okay. And finally, we can attach the optional 86 tooth spur gear. My, my other slash has a 73 tooth spur gear to a 30 tooth pinion. Alright. And now here's the tricky part. This is the part where most people really make mistakes. It's the gear mesh. Let me give you a closer look. Um, uh, when people do gear meshing, people like to use a piece of paper or whatever, uh, whatever something, and just shove it in there. But sometimes I like to do it this way, so it's it's much quicker for me, and it does help me a little bit. Uh, it does help for me, but I don't know about you. People have different methods. Um, but basically, you're going to set up the gear mesh. It needs to have a little bit of play. So that's perfectly fine to me. Um, and what you're going to do is... Uh, my camera did stop there. But basically, once you get your gear mesh... Uh, gear mesh is ready. Uh, once your gear mesh is set, just reverse the process. Uh, put the... Uh, the bolts back on to the spur gear. A little quick tip right here is the um, is the uh, as far as improving your top speed, the pinion gear is a bigger pinion gear will improve your top speed, and a smaller pinion gear will improve your acceleration. Having a um, uh, the opposite is true when changing your spur gear. Uh, a bigger spur gear will give you better acceleration and a smaller spur gear will give you a uh, better top speed. Alright, I'm going to move this back a little bit. Now we're going to get our 2 millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to screw back the motor uh, back to its housing. It's ready to go. Um, before I put the wheel back on and do everything else, uh, keep in mind do not run this and use this long term. You can only use this as when you have your brush system still installed. You can only use this on street surfaces. Like if you're just going to go uh, back and forth doing speed runs and just get that advertised 30 miles an hour top speed. But like, uh, like it says on the box, it, it is an option that if you want to use it, you don't have to. But I personally, I'm just, like I said, I'm just a basher and I'm just putting in front of my, my in front of my house and uh, I don't really need some slowness on my car. I want some speed at least. And to be honest with you, 30 miles an hour on a brush system, I gotta say that is pretty darn quick. Uh, that, that's my opinion. My rustler can go 35 miles an hour, but since the slash is, is slightly heavy, it's able to go only achieve 30 miles an hour. It may hit 35 if you get LiPo batteries, but in this case, with the nickel metal hydride batteries, it can only hit 30 miles per hour. Yeah, looks like I dropped my screw, but I'm going to reattach it back. I need to lift up the car a bit higher it's all squared away now finally the last thing you need to do is reattach the tire
There you guys have it. There's how, how you replace a, a spur gear and pinion gear, or in this case, changing your gearing on a Traxxas car, two-wheel drive car. So um, hopefully this helps you guys. I'm sorry for the lack of quality here, but um, if it doesn't work out well for you guys, I will make an update video. So uh, until then, I'll see you guys later.